Hi everybody, welcome to another, another Native Starts review uh, on the Native Starts YouTube channel. This time reviewing the movie by Adam Sandler, starring Adam Sandler in The Cobbler. In The Cobbler, Adam Sandler plays a, pretty much, that's the title, A Cobbler. He is a stitcher, he stitches shoes, he polishes them, he fixes them. He has his little business that was passed down from his uh, from his great grandparents down to his parents, down to down to him now. And, more into the plot, Adam Sandler is not a... Uh, He's not a he's not a funny character, a lip spirit like the most you've seen him like in most of his movies. He's more of a serious guy. He looks kind of depressing. He lives with his mom. His dad's not around. Um, now I don't want to give away too much why he's not around, but it's pretty much he's he's mentioned so either he's dead or he's not. That's all. He just lives his life day by day, fixing shoes, trying to get his business. To, it's pretty much just, he feels like he's forced into that business because it's the only thing he knows how to do in his life. So he thinks, you know. And he has a little neighbor, a uh, next door neighbor shop, uh, barber shop owned by Steve Buscemi, who's a little nosy to him. He's always watching his back because he may have promised to his parents that he, they will, he will always be on his back, making making sure he's always fine and whatnot. And around the around the long line, you see his customers, how he stitches his shoes and that. And then one day, his stitcher broke, breaks breaks down. He goes down to the cellar where he has an old stitcher. Passed down from his great grandparents down to his dad and now down to him, but he's never uses it. It's in the, it's always in the basement, down the cellar basement, until he has no choice but to use it to fix his shoes that he has ordered. Little did he know is that whichever shoes that he stitches on that machine, the pair, if he, anybody who puts on the shoes, including most of the shows him, he transforms into that person, looking the same and sounding exact the same as this person. And the little shenanigans happen. He gets into a little adventure and whatnot, trying to save the town, kind of. But at the same time, he tries to do more of a pleasure for him. What does it feel like to be an earth person, in another person's shoes? You know, uh, good-looking, young, older as a woman, as a guy, as a kid. You know, it doesn't matter. And don't want to give away too much of the plot because it does have a little. It does have a little twist to it. I don't want to give away too much. But the only thing I could tell you is that it's not a type of movie in which it is Adam Sandler comedy. It's not also a type of movie in which it's Adam Sandler's uh, dramedy in which much like Spanglish or even Punch Drunk Love. It's more of a... It's kind of more just like... It's kind of in between, but at the same time, if the movie have anything to problem with... If the movie has any problem with it, is the fact that it is kind of a sloppy, it's a slow pace, it's kind of slow and up going. It takes a while to get into like the main focus of the whole putting in someone else's shoes and whatnot. But it it's it's kind of a it's kind of a weird movie because it doesn't know what it wants to be at the same time. It doesn't know if it wants to be a comedy or a drama or even a fav a fable or a fairy tale also. It's kind of in between there, you know? It just keeps dragging it, it keeps dragging it. The ending, I didn't have a problem with it because it leaves like a cliffhanger of an ending in which you kind of think there's going to be more, but you deep down know that it's not going to be any more to it or anything like that. The only thing I can say is that Adam Sandler, he looks like he's trying, he's, he's trying to do his best, but at the same time, he seems like he's just doing as much as he he is giving with it. The film has no sense of style. It has no sense of style. It just feels like a quick film that just wants to put up, just wants to get together, up and going, try to make it as fast as they can, try to tell a little story, but at the same time the little story kind of, kind of goes off edge, you know. Uh, Steve Buscemi is always great to see him in good stuff, he's not acting like a, like a complete lunatic like he does in, in cameos of Adam Sandler's funny, funny movies, you know, the comedy style of movies, but in this one, it's, it's not so bad, you know, it's a great, it's, it, it's good to check it out. I would say to check it out, see what you think. I do hear a lot of people say it's boring. It has a lot of bad reviews. I don't think so much it deserves the bad reviews. I just don't think it's a movie that is going to be remembered as down the line. It's going to be really forgettable. That's the problem. And as much as it's forgettable, you're going to forget that this is an Adam Sandler movie. You're going to forget this is part of his, his, his catalog of film, you know? But then again, you know... I do kind of wish it could have been something more. It, like I said, it does have the pacing that it feels long. It feels slow at times. It doesn't know where it fully wants to be. The only thing I could say is that the movie is, it's a good to check it out. You know, just watch it. Try give it a try. But then again, I do think it's not for everyone. I really believe that if you're gonna go in thinking it's an Adam Sandler, uh, film, 
in a good way and a bad way. If you think it's going to be like one of his same usual stupid films, you're going to be surprised by it. If you think you're going to go into one of those stupid films that he does, you're going to be disappointed or you're just not going to understand it. But it's one of those movies that it just, it doesn't take itself too seriously. But then again, it want to, it's, it's, it's kind of everywhere. But it is slow pace, it is slow pace, and it kind of comes off a bit boring, but that's the only thing I can say about Adam Sandler is, in this movie, is that he gives it enough for what he has to work. Everyone else does. Nobody's terrible in this one. Surprise, uh, Method Man, who's a former rapper, it's still a rapper, but Method Man, um, gave him working with as much as he can, you know. He plus plays a thug, but he doesn't play that typical thug, you know. He he tones it he tones it down a little bit, especially when when Adam Sandler plays his shoes. He has to act like if he's never been, you know, if he's not thug, he doesn't know anything like that. And it, 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 it they work with what they have. But the only thing that I do believe the editing in the movie is slow. It's the problem is what kills it. You know, it could have been kind of more different if it had a sense of style, if it had a sense of humor. It could have been great and all and all. But the only thing I can say is that it's okay for movie. It's worth to at least check out, but it's really forgettable. That's the only thing I can say. But again, everybody, thank you for listening to Native Thoughts Review. I don't want to say that I'm just a Native Thoughts, but I do have more people. You can listen to the SoundCloud uh, podcast that I do. You can even listen to the audio review. This one where I have a, co- a co-host uh, doing with me on the audio review. This is just a video review, a quick, you know, some nonsense, a quick review. You can listen to a long one down the link below of The Cobbler, and you can listen to Native Thoughts SoundCloud podcast on SoundCloud, sorry about that, you can listen to, we're going to start doing a lot more reviews, album reviews, music reviews, news, anything kind of crazy stuff we could do, the only thing I can say is have a nice time, everybody, thank you.